In this video, I'll be teaching you how to transfer templates. The first step is knowing what an advanced template is and how it works. So this is an advanced template and this is a regular template. The difference between the two is the advanced is all put together versus the original template is separated. The advanced template I use have a bunch of different layers. This is the guidelines layer, but I also have a few other ones that are really helpful as well, like my measurement layer. This layer, the guidelines layer, is used to just help you know where things will be on the Roblox body. So this is the measurement layer, and it just helps you like be able to know where half of each section is and it's just easier when you're using the box select tool. For step two, I'll just be teaching you how to transfer your design. Here is the design that I'll be transferring. It's a panda outfit I made a while back and this one was just pretty easy. The only thing missing is the bottom of the feet on my advanced template. So we can just do that on the normal template when it comes to it. Using the box select tool, you want to select the whole front and back area and you can use the guidelines on your advanced template to help you know where things are if the color of your design blends into the line. You want to make a new layer on your normal template and put it underneath the template layer. Copy and paste the selection you had and now you want to select part right above the black line that separates the bottom part of the design and copy and paste that part down. This makes the bottom half this part you don't really see and it's not an advanced template. So this is just an easy fix. If you have jeans you do the same. Really with any design you do the same. When it comes to the part above the legs, what you'll do is you'll copy this whole selection with the box select tool or with just a selection tool, copy, paste it, and then you'll want to flip it just because when you flip it, it makes it so it's the right way. Now you want to make it so you select to the black line and then pull it over using the blue arrow which is I don't know what it's called but it just moves selections you have and move that over so it fills that whole empty box next you want to go back to the advanced template get the box select tool get rid of the old selection and select from the left leg to the middle leg like this Copy it, and then go to your normal template, paste it, and then drag it to the first two legs on the left side. Once you do this, go back to the advanced template, move your selection to the right side, but instead of just doing two, use the back leg as well. Copy, paste it, and place it on the right side of the template. Next, you want to get this last leg here, copy and paste it, then put it on the left side of the template. For this next step, all you do is you take the back leg of the template, in this case it's this part, paste it over to the last empty square, get the box select tool, go and select half of the design in that box and then paste it over. This way it'll line up to the back part and the front part. Just copy this piece and paste it over to the next leg. Now all you have left is the bottom of the feet and all you do is you select these two legs together and place them here. Your template is now transferred. You just want to merge your two layers together, save it as a PNG, and then you can upload it.